That's the problem the short, small man finds himself in. I would tell him and advise him, like Lee Teed said, ask for what you want. At the propitious moment, at the time when the opportunity presents itself, it's not a, It's not going to be a propitious. If you're waiting for a propitious moment, if you're waiting for a certain cue, if you're looking for certain things, you're not going to find it. You have to be like Marciana, keep on punching and punch your way to an opening. You don't wait, you try to make things happen. And you have to punch through your inferior, your justifiable inferiority feelings for your physical presence. That's horrific, ridiculous. He knows that going in. He also knows he has to share her, that's a given. He also knows he can lose her at any time. She can leave him any time. He also knows no means no, especially for him. And no said to him in so many ways, and he has to be able to figure it out. Doesn't have to be explicit, yet he's responsible for it. He better pick the message up. And when he meets her, he better interview her and expose her quickly and use the proximus. He takes her into the toughest environment, and he watches how she treats him. Is she disagreeable with him? Is she eyeballing the area for other men while she's talking to him? It's obvious she doesn't want to be with him. You'll know it. If you don't, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. If you miss it, you want to miss it. It's your fault, not hers. Nobody's that good of an actress. Nobody. And nobody's so stupid that he can't. If, if I questioned him, if I quizzed him later, you'd see that he did recognize that he was being rebuffed. And he upped the ante. He had to have seen it. It's like down the quad, where the hell are you? She's not paying any attention. And you're not even noticing that. Bah, 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 bah. When do you stop talking? When do you shut up? When do you recognize that you're not being effective? Blah, 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 blah. It's obvious this man is hungry, desperate for female attention. He's, first, I got him to agree. I got to get him to agree with that. I show him evidence. I keep on pounding on him from every fucking angle. I hit him with the facts. I hit him with the observables and simple common sense. I hit him from every single angle. Then we go around the room and show him what he is. The Knights of the Mirrors. We show to him exactly what he is. We show to him his pretense, his show, and then we show him exactly what we see point for point. And we force him to do something, either cry, fight, but move him off the dime. That's the whole thing. We've got to get him to become involved with his own life here and now. What's going on right now? Which has nothing to do with how he's been conditioned or anything. It, it has everything to do with what he looks like, how he's behaving right now. What we see right before us, the behaviors, the broken posture, the genuflecting, the proximus, and on and on and on. What I could take a camera picture if I had the possibility to do it and film it and show it back to him and then have him react and do captures and then hand him his own camera to him and say what's going on what's going on here put it up on the screen we're looking at the same thing now but he's out there now now we have him now we have the subjectivity objectified. Now we can work with him. Now we can ask him the right questions. We can prompt him. We can observe him. Now we cut through. Now we're cutting through all the facade. That's what I'm talking. That is the real peeling the onion.